Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to create a Windows 11 version 24H2 USB bootable media with the Rufus tool for computers that are compatible with the new version of the operating system. If you want to create a USB offline installer for unsupported PCs, check the video description to find a link for that tutorial. Okay, let's have into the steps to use Rufus to create a bootable Windows 11 version 24H2 USB. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first go to this website and scroll down and then on the download section, make sure to click the button to download the latest version and save the file to your computer. Now open the location where you downloaded the file. Next, right click on the application and select the Run as Administrator option. At this time, make sure to connect a USB flash drive of at least 8 gigabytes of storage and make sure that you don't have anything important on that drive because through this process, that flash drive is going to be erased. Once the drive is selected, click the down arrow button and select the download option. Now, if you don't see this option, make sure to go to the settings for the app for check for updates, select daily, and then restart the application. And then you should be able to see this option right here. Now, click the download button. Select Windows 11 and click continue. Now, select version 24H2 and click continue. For addition, choose Windows 11 Home Pro and Education. Then choose the installation language. and click continue. There is only one architecture that you can download for Windows 11, so you have to use the x64 option. And then click the download button. Then choose the location where to save the file and click save. Now Rufus is going to proceed to download the ISO file and this file is actually being downloaded from the Microsoft servers. After Rufus completed downloading the ISO file, you can use all the default settings for image option. Make sure that it's a standard Windows installation. For partition scheme, make sure it's GPT. And for target system, UEFI. Now, the only option that you might want to configure is the value label. In this case, I'm just going to use Win11 underscore 24H2 underscore USB. Then make sure file system is NTFS. For cluster size, use this number and make sure to use the quick format and this option right here. And then just click the start button to continue. Now you might have some of the customization already pre-selected for you. However, on this video, we're going to be creating an USB bootable media for a computer that is compatible with Windows 11 version 24H2. So we can turn off all these features. And now just click the OK button to start the creation for that bootable media. It is important to note that the Rufus tool is working correctly at the time of this video for devices that are compatible with the Windows 11 version 24H2. Some users are reporting not be able to upgrade using this tool, but that's only for devices that do not support version 24H2. But even for unsupported devices, this is only a concern for in-place upgrades. Know when you're using the USB bootable media to perform a clean installation. And that's it. Just click the close button to exit the application. And now you have created a USB bootable media that you can use as a offline installer to upgrade your computer to Windows 11 version 24H2. You can use this bootable media to do an in-place upgrade, or you can connect it to the computer and boot from it to start the Windows setup to perform a clean installation of the operating system. If you need help upgrading to the latest version of Windows 11, make sure to check the video description that I have different links to tutorials on how to upgrade your computer using the different methods available. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.